All right, thanks a lot, Susan, and thank you for tuning into the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. Rich Walsh will be joined by Ron Cook in just moments. We're going to be talking about the Steelers. First playoff game of this year. They got to buy the first week, take it on Jacksonville. That's exactly what Ben Roethlisberger wanted. You heard from some of the guys in the Jacksonville locker room today, or you'll hear from them coming up at 11 o'clock on our nightly news, talking about Ben Roethlisberger got what he wanted. Um, so it's interesting. I think this, is, this kind of upset some guys in the Jacksonville locker room, Ron. Uh, I mean, if you, you look at some of these sound bites, but... I don't know if it was meant to, but you know Ben is a competitive guy. He wants to see this team again and maybe, I don't know if it's revenge or whatever you want, retribution or whatever you want to call it, but he doesn't want to go out with, on a note with Jacksonville throwing well, five picks. He was on our radio show last week and he said, you guys know who I want. He goes, I want to show that five interception game. Wasn't me, even though I went back at those interceptions. Four of the five were not his fault. The last one he underthrew, but... One went through Antonio's hands. One was tipped. Um, you know, he had a bad game. They had a bad game. Of course he wants to play him again. I, I'm sure Jacksonville gave it. They'll be careful what you wish for. Yeah, Stop yeah. Stop treatment. That's but that's not going to mean anything come Sunday. It just isn't. Uh, the better team will win, and you like to think that'll be the Steelers with everybody healthy as long as Antonio's ready to go playing at home. I like their chances a lot. Yeah, I actually love their chances, Ron. And I know maybe your co-host doesn't like him so much. I mean, he thinks it's going to be a lot closer than I think because I was listening to you guys coming in today into work and um, you know, on the radio, Andrew Filipponi. But I think it, it's going to be a Steelers route. I, I, they have the offense, and I don't believe in the rust thing. I think that they're going to come out and put 30-some points on the board. And I, I, from what I've seen from this Jacksonville offense, they're not going to be able to do anything. They might hit on a couple play and score 13 to 17 points, but I like 31-17, something like that. Jacksonville does have a good defense, but really good defense. the Steelers have all their weapons back. Okay, say you double-team uh, Antonio Brown and you take uh, Juju Smith out, but then you have Martavis Bryant, Eli Rogers, Vance McDonald, Le'Veon Bell out of the backfield. They're hard to stop if they put everything together. Oh, of course, but that's an if, too, if they put everything together. Uh, you know, Jacksonville's defense is good. They take the ball away. Uh, they, get th they had 55 sacks, only one fewer than the Steelers had. The Steelers led the league in sacks. I mean, as, as long as the Steelers don't turn it over, I don't see any way they lose the game. But we've seen turnovers cost teams games in the past. Fournette can run the ball. Blake Bortles looks like he stinks to me, but he can run. And what hurt the Steelers against the Browns? The scrambling quarterback, Kaiser, now. Uh, it's different in a game against Cleveland, the last game, 0-15, versus a playoff game. Cam Hayward is going to be playing this week. Um, I mean, I have a hard time imagining a Steelers loss, but nothing is impossible. That's why they play. You know, I want to think that the Steelers' heads weren't really in that Cleveland game, so I throw that game Not out. Not to mention there are five offensive stars. Yeah, ex in that ex game. exactly. So, but that's um, still the defense only missed Cam. They all played other than Hayward and, and the quarterback. And how many, I think they complete, uh, converted successfully third and double-digit yards like five times in that game. You can't do that. You just yeah, can't allow them to do there's that. There's no question the Steelers' secondary is of concern. Um, they've been giving up big plays. Uh, statistically, this team is pretty good, but we've seen it watching them every game. They give up those big plas pass plays, the big third down conversions, uh, the long touchdowns, and I'm sure we're going to see something like that. But I, I just, I, I'm not sold on this Jacksonville team. They've been up and down all year. The Steelers were down at the beginning. They pulled out some wins, but their offense progressively got better throughout the year, and I think they ended the year on a high note. Well, I just don't know how they're going to score a lot of points against the Steelers. I mean, Bortles. I don't know that I've ever seen it. I guess it's happened one other time. Michael Vick did it once in a playoff game. Run for more yards than he passed for. You just don't hear that. It just doesn't happen. Yeah. He ran and scrambled for more yards than he passed for. If, uh, you know, you got to shut him down from running. Um, you do that. I like your chances. I know the old cliche is defense wins games, but I think it has changed now. I'd rather have offense than, than defense because I think the Steelers can, if they're down by 10, they can make that up. They can make that ground up. Uh, their offense can score with anyone, and that's why I like the Steelers. They might not have the better defense, but they definitely have the better offense, and that's why I like them to win this game. Uh, I'd love to hear what you guys think. 412-575-2600 is the number, so give us a call tonight. Or you can send me a tweet, at Richie Walsh. We'll be back in a couple minutes.